Well, damn. Fancy meeting you all here. Welcome back to Let's Get All That Vampire the Masquerade Redemption. There will be a difference in audio quality. I did not appreciate how loud the last zone was in relation to my voice. I have made some adjustments. Things are different ever since I got this, uh... I'll say new microphone last year, but it's really like a transitional microphone before I uh, step up. I'm not even going to list the brand other than a thing I'm using until the next thing. I have handled inventory management off screen as it was ordained. I have grabbed a second discipline bracelet. Uh, I have it on Kristoff for now, but I can easily see me putting it onto Willem for the next session. I have not bought any more arrows for Serena. That is probably a mistake given the length of the next combat section, uh, but I'm hoping I will find some arrows, and if I don't, uh, we'll figure it out. And, uh, Eric here wielding a bastion, though I could see him swapping two feral claws. I just decided not to invest in a separate weapon. He's got feral claws of two. He could just use that. The extra reach can help for a group of four, particularly given where we're going next. Now, I did not buy another neck guard, um, I also did not buy any more Scrolls of Awaken, and I haven't had anyone learn Awaken. I'm going to want to take care of that, but I can do so in Vienna. The next combat section will be lengthy and will not permit retreat with Walk the Abyss. Anywho, about does it. I think I stopped in for a snack at Petron Hall. No one had anything to say. Let's get going. I'm glad so many folks have memories of this game, or at least enjoy the prospect of experiencing Vampire the Masquerade Redemption. I do enjoy this video game. It is a vampire story, and one I believe will hold up even in the year of our Lord 2024, although the gameplay gameplay does leave something, <laughs> does leave a number of things to be desired. Uh, the most unexpected amount of interaction I have gotten, that's, that comes across as loud, has, uh, has been in uh, conversations and discourse surrounding galvanization. So here is our haven for the zone. Let's create a church, pull the lever. And ta-da! Navonks, beds, and our stashes where I've just shoved in bloodstones. I believe this will be enough blood to carry us through. I choose to believe. I choose to believe that. Because I chose to believe it, it has to be true. Out of curiosity, if I were to lean out of blood magic and come over here, what would it look like for me to grab Awaken? Doable. Also, you can cast this on a friendly deadhead. The, the hunting and pecking I've done a few times uh, over the course of the series where I've looked for the shadowy corpse of a friend. No, you can just throw Awaken down here. Um... I have a lot of blood on tap. This will save me the money for buying Awakened Scrolls. And also ensure, like, I might not buy enough Awakened Scrolls. This is worth spending the experience for. After all, I'm going to have Kristoff with me the entire game. If I ever want this experience back, I'll just use Awaken to uh, bring someone back to life, repeatedly. Not having this is helping to dissuade me from uh, using an Awaken exploit. Sure. Yeah, something could go wrong in the charge. I remember the first time I got to Vienna, and the first time I got to the section I will be, like, having my next combat in, which I just labeled as the church. Uh, that zone was a nightmare for me. I remember that actually bringing that playthrough of mine to a halt. I just, like, I couldn't, like, I didn't know how to cope. I was so out of resources, and I couldn't go back. Huh? Welcome to Vienna, everyone. Here we are. 
having it come in to the outer strat, departing the northern ringstrasse. We're gonna go east. They're like Grimith, are you sure that's east? I don't, I don't know if you know what east is. And I'm like, I know what east is. Hey, okay. just too good. Just so I can pop it and say hi here. Another Tremere. Nay, he is mortal. I can smell it. Aye, not Tremere, but a mortal mage of the order that splintered into the Tremere. He may be useful. Hail to thee, mage. I am Christoph of Clan Bruja. Hail to thee. I am Orvis, mage of the Hermetic Order. There we go. Awaken, 143 gold. Yeah. We're saving some. Elder Vitae, Kindred Vitae. Let me tell you what, drinking from other Kindred does not increase my blood by 100 unless I drink a lot of blood. Discipline Bracelet, of course, we have a pair and some money to spare. Godspeed, eh? We'll not be making any purchases at this time. There is a tavern over here, but I'll refrain from going into there right now. Let's tour the rest of the place. Don't think there's anything of relevance back here. There is not. Yep, yep, yep. The south side of the city contains our destination. Look at it. Ooh, I forgot about this. Look at it. Tremere Central right there. And, uh, Warhammer... Not Warhammer. <laughs> Vampire the Masquerade 5th Edition lore in 2008. Uh, the Tremere Super Chantry in Vienna, where we currently are, gets obliterated by the Second Inquisition. So, uh, I guess a spoiler. We don't resolve all the Tremere in Vienna <laughs> in this game. They are magically sealed. We must find a way to enter through the barrier. And, uh, no solicitors allowed. We're gonna have to find a way in. And it's not gonna be just climbing over the wall. Also, to the left of us is a weaponsmith. There are no finer weapons in all Vienna than are herein. We seek mended armor. Thou hast an impoverished look and the demeanor of outlanders. Hast thou coin to pay? If such uncharitable suspicion is the custom of the land, I am glad to be an outlander. We are merely weary and dusty from the road. We can pay our way. We can pay in gold or in blood. The choice is thine, Von Sweeter. Uh, yes. How may I be of service? Well, you could start by speaking louder into the microphone. Anyway, that's how much gold I was cheated out of for not getting at least one free suit of that in the Tremere Chantry. And you can see the price difference is there. Half plate and then a full on plate mail, the sturdiest armor you can get during uh, this time period of the video game. Plenty of protection against lethal bashing and aggravated. You do require 55 strength to wear it though. Uh, note that when you uh, leave studded leather, you lose out on the protection uh, versus fire. And a little bit of electrical that's in leather and studded leather. Your mileage will wear will vary for sure, but yeah. Okay, Mal, we absolutely could have worn that. Got some nice graphic updates, but no, couldn't get a suit of that for free. Ah, it is what it is. Exquisite Halberd, ha, ah, my old friend. Buckler down here, footman shield. Curious to see whether a neck guard was just sitting here, but I think, I think we'll just roll with it. 
I think I think Eric will be fine without a neck guard. His his neck is so thick, surely we won't have any problems. Oh, an exquisite bastard. Yes, it is. No speed difference and no accuracy difference, of course, but the 10 extra damage. I think uh, we'll leave things as they are, too. Could buy some unholy studded leather armor. We have just enough gold for that, and that is something that uh, two of our party members can make use of. So yeah, I think maybe three of them can. Only Kristoff can't wear that? Yeah, Kristoff's the only one with turbo-high humanity. No, no, Serena's got 70. Okay. Neat. This is my opportunity to buy arrows. Do I... feel like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I will. Is she... Is she... Since she doesn't have Flamestorm... I can't afford scale mail. Boo! Okay. Farewell. There. We'll engage in some practices of purchasing. Of buying. Well, yeah, buying. Purchasing. Words. Well. Thunder lock, but how in the hell are we going to get inside? House to Hex. We're going to go back to uh, the eastern side of the city. There's a tavern over there that we'll enter now. Green Frog Inn. Okay, vampires. Excuse me, canines. Mm -hmm. How you doing, barkeep? Speak up, stranger. Dost thou crave wine, ale, or spirits? You know, I've had to have these footsteps be so damn loud in this playthrough. Because there's not a separate dialogue volume slider. <laughs> the tragedies. How's it going? How y'all doing? Uh, he, uh... He's doing great. I think... I don't think he's doomed at all. We are looking for a Ventru named Orsi. Canst thou tell us where we may find him? Come to his mansion in the Western Lingstrasse. Tonight there is a feast in honor of the new solstice. Here's an invitation on the finest virgin skin parchment. I like not this talk of the skin of virgins. <laughs> I think if I popped by his mansion, I could have gotten a clue about this whole thing, about why this was relevant. But I'm also fairly certain I could have just come in here without nuzzling the, uh, the lightning door. And we could have carried on about our business. I think it'll be fine. Attend the party. We've got an invitation, everyone, and boy, is it voice acted. To my many, many, many dear, dear, dear friends. I would be honored beyond all telling should thou see fit to grace my exquisite mansion in the Western Wingstrasse with the most splendid presents. We shall celebrate the upcoming solstice and the splendor of trade and foreign lands that have so enriched Vienna. Come, sample the finest drink in the land. I have the reddest of reds <laughs> and the sweetest of nectars for thy refined palates. Or see the magnificent. That's one hell of an invitation, right? You just touch it and audio is <laughs> audio playback, so you can really get the the sense of what Orsi was going for. Now we're gonna play a little game here. You've seen the clan that Orsi has belonged to. If you had to guess which clan is Orsi part of. Vampire clan, that is. More on that real soon. 
So we're gonna attend a party. I didn't see a way to really clean up effectively back at the haven. You know, something I could do for this series of reverse audio ducking. Yeah, that way, whenever I talk, the audio of the game is lowered. It still wouldn't solve, like, the like the footsteps being like, basically the same fucking volume. Not basically, the exact same volume slider as the dialogue. Future Grimoth will ponder this. Maybe I'll change something. Maybe I won't. After all, things fine for me. I'm the human player. I'm the person playing the game, and so the person watching the person play the video game. And Orsi's place is not up there. That is the, I believe, the door says Teutonic Night Base. Yep, Teutonic Night Base. Locked. By right, taking this intersection, there's not anything of interest here. Yet. We're just cutting through as a shortcut. We've seen the south, the east, the west. Well, the north. And we're about to go into the west. Which is Count Orsi's mansion. Woo! And that's Vienna, everyone. Wow. Great destin... Great destination. Here's this must be the house of Count Orsi. The slave master. All the fops, bootlicks, and toadies in Vienna are here assembled. Yeah. Fops. Hang out with them. How did they beat us here? My God. I will say, I haven't heard Count Orsi's voice in so long, and I really enjoy it. <laughs> it's really good. Opening that letter just, oh, it's so good. It's, it's so heinous. You can tell we're not La Sombra because we have reflections that are interpretable easily as us. Ah, welcome, K Knights. I see thou hast met my children. This is Kazi, Teta, and Zig. The most beautiful daughters of Cain thou shalt ever meet. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, Teta and Zil lost the ability to speak during their <laughs> mortal lives. I found them in servitude to a rather harsh master that saw to it to remove their tongues. <laughs> he was dealt with in a fitting fashion, eh, say my darlings? <laughs> Don't worry. Kazi is happy to speak for the three of them now. We come seeking Bruja taken as slaves from Prague. A mortal woman among them. Slaves? Oh, yes. The slave business have been so very delicious. Duke Leopold needed a force to beat back the Senitze. And the Lord, the Tremere appeared as if by divine providence. <laughs> the Tremere and Zemitsi battle each other with surpassing fury. And I, humble Ventru that I am, I profit from the selling of slaves to both clans. <laughs> the Duke and I shall ensure that the Tremere win the war, but only after I have collected much treasure from the carnage. Then shall we destroy the wounded Tremere as punishment. The blasphemy they committed upon the antediluvian salute. Tell us of the October shipment from Prague. 
Does thou think me a fool? That I will give away that which thou wilt purchase? <laughs> Presumptuous bumpkin, shouldst thou wish to know of thy allies, thou shalt perform a mission for me. <laughs> Have you guessed Clan Fintru? Congratulations. Also, Eric. Eric's weapon continually phasing in through Kristoff's head. <laughs> it's good. And, uh, understandably, Orsi here, like, I mean, I'm not just gonna give you this information for free. You want something? I'll give you something. Kristoff understands that. Sees no reason to be that rude in this man's house. We're already being plenty rude enough with the brandished weapons and everything. Very well. Excellent. I see we two are a keen zealot. Come. Come to my study where we may discuss this further. Mayhap thou shalt find some delicious morsels to refresh thee. Mm. Mm, yes. Pray, sup with me. I trust that thou wilt find these orders to thy liking. If they are not pleasing to the taste, we shall have them flogged. <laughs> State thy business, Orsi. Well, I can see thou hast no courtly manners in the bumpkin. Listen well. The Tremere have clapped their slaves away in the Tremere Chantry. Thy house de Hexe, the most protected heaven in Vienna. So, do not think to try to kill me to gain them. They are quite beyond my power. Only Duke Leopold could convince the Tremere to give up their slaves. The Duke is responsible for allowing the Tremere to lodge in Vienna. So the Tremere do his bidding. Assist my ally, the Duke and he will owe thee a boon. Hmm? What does the Duke wish? The end to the reign of the pestilential vampire priest Luther Black. Years ago, Luther was but a mortal priest of Stephenston Church. A wayward La Sombra sought to rule Vienna by controlling the church and dared to embrace Luther. We sent the sire to hell. <laughs> but Luther locked himself away from the outside world. He hath retained a pitiable hold on the faith he had in life and sleeps by day upon a cross of pure silver. <laughs> Quite uncomfortable, I assume, but he fancies himself a martyr. The Duke has been unable to remove this blasphemous member of the Shadow Clan since Luther is ensconced within a ring of holy ground. Then how do we find him? Better to ask how to bind him. <laughs> Thou cannot destroy him. The priest has strange powers beyond thy ken. But thou can restrain him. <laughs> Here are chains even Luther Black cannot break. I am a master of metalwork, and I have forged these shackles from a new, unbreakable alloy. Thou mayst find them useful and more reliable than the <laughs> magics in thy blood. Destroy Luther Black, and the Duke will retrieve thy slaves. Orsi approaches one of the hanging victims, delicately slices open his neck and fills a fluted glass with his blood. Quickly licking the wound, it closes up, leaving the victim stunned. The party is stunned to notice that the victim is the, is the drunken man they had seen at the bar mm, earlier. The girl is softly and goes limp. liking, I'm afraid. I prefer blood of a nobler sort. Tis my only vice. <laughs> Enough of this dainty preening and strutting. How do we reach the La Sombra? Refinement is wasted on lumbering brutes such as thee. There will come a time when boorish churls are put in their place. <laughs> Thou shalt find a concealed entrance to the church. Behind our famous astrological clock in the inner strat is a hidden passage. 
Enter by night and wait inside for daylight, and thou may steal into the inner haven undetected. <laughs> we shall undertake thy mission. Good. Now get the hands. <laughs> <laughs> Away with thee! Return with news of the La Sombra's death! <laughs> anyway, no. We are not allowed to have a meal. It's tragic. So, gotta find a secret entrance to a clock, and then grab Luther Black. That way we can get uh, Inezka back. And nothing will go wrong. So, Christoph has not yet perished at the hands of the vampire priest. <laughs> the deadly nature of thy mission inflames my sister Tata. And my sister Zil entreats me tell thee that she too is filled with lust for thee. She cannot resist the charms of an immortal so close to death's door. <laughs> Great. Wonderful. Exciting. Joyous. And uh, that's that. That was our party. Good reactions, team. We did it. We made through. That was great work. Proud of you all. Our destination lies this way. Looks like we can get this all done within the half hour. Yippee. Inside a house. This door was locked until now. Once again, we're having to bypass consecrated ground to reach a target. A dastardly consecrated ground, man. Now, we're on top. The city. The roofs. Mercifully, the pathfinding here works well. It would be tragic if it did not. He says before the game proceeds to prove him wrong. Eh? Ah, all right. First try. Cool. So? Eh, we might as well do this now. We're gonna have a little cutscene to watch. A little cinematic. Enjoy the clock, and let's watch. I'll see you all next time.